good morning YouTube. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. We're here on another project in McKinney, Texas. I want to show you what we're going to be doing today. So if you look over here, this is the equipment that we're going to be installing. We have an Onkia receiver, which we have a Sonos Connect that's going to plug into it for control. We're going to be using the Harmony Pro from Logitech. And this is a living room surround sound system for speakers. We're going to be using the Klipsch. CS16W, this is the custom series for our front left and right and rear left and right. And then for our front center speaker, we did upgrade that a little bit to the, uh, the RP640D. And then he had already purchased a Klipsch R10 uh, SW subwoofer. So that's gonna be a 5.1. The custom series is gonna go here and here. And then in the rear of the room here, and here a couple other things that we're going to be doing are outside speakers so we have volume controls that we're going to put in off of the zone two on the sonkia receiver um, we're also going to be running a, a fiber optic hdmi cable uh, to the tv to maximize this 4k content and then for the um, master bathroom we're going to be putting in the custom series 16 c's from klipsch so that they can pipe music through a Sonos Connect amp directly to that zone. And then we're gonna be putting in on that back patio, the all weather six inch episode speakers. I'll show you where those are going. So he's got two different patios. Patio one, we're gonna put them in the ceiling here. Again, the builder didn't pre-wire it very well with. Uh, they didn't stub out the wiring like we typically do when we pre-wire we'll put like a plate blank plate so you know where the wiring is but it's a single story home so we're just going to hop up in the attic and find out where the wires are and get them pulled down this is uh patio number two again we're going to put these in the ceiling up here and here uh, recessed really nice and clean and then you can see he has a pool and in the future we're going to put a couple rock speakers up behind uh, but th that's going to be phase two all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I'll upload the process as we complete the work. All right, since the wiring was not stubbed out, we're gonna come up into the attic and kind of just investigate a little bit and see what's going on with the wiring. Kind of surprised on how terrible these lines were ran for pre-wire, but I've seen worse. So, looks like here's the lines for this front left and right. So it's coming down right into this stud pattern here. So I'm gonna basically throw a toner on this line and then I'm gonna go down and actually confirm the location. Looks like you can see the other ones right there. But Grayson's way back in there figuring out what's going on. We'll, uh, we'll find him. So after further investigation, the pre-wire is complete garbage. So we're just gonna rerun new wire. You can see to the right of the TV, we're gonna be putting the speaker here. And then over here to the left to give us nice separation and channel, we're gonna put another speaker here. That's good. Alright guys, so Grayson just drilled through at the top of the framing up there and we ran our 16-2 shielded line down the wall for our front right speaker. Next he's gonna move over to the other side and we're gonna shoot the line over to the front left speaker and then following that, rear. Alright guys, we just got our line put in for these rears um, and the speaker installed as well. You can see I'm gonna go ahead and put our magnetic drill on. Like that, we're gonna run our line back to our home run location over here. And then these rails will be wrapped up. All right guys, so the next step is we're running a few lines up for the TV. One of them is our fiber optic HDMI cable, which is uh, giving us our full 4K, 4x4x4, 18 gigabit per second speaker line for the center speaker and then a sub line. And this is a fish tape, a fish uh, rod, and Grayson's up there in the attic right now, and he's gonna grab a hold of it and pull it up. 
you got to drill a hole in the framing as well at the very top, which we've already done. All right, go ahead. Hold on, hold on. All right, go ahead. All right, and then once you have the hold of it up there, we're gonna pull it all the way over and shoot it down to our home run location. This has got to be by far the worst pre-wire I've ever seen. So, like they just drilled random holes down here in the bottom, and that's where the wires came out. So, we're redoing everything, and you can see there's a bunch of framing in here. We got through it, but we're moving the wiring up top, and we're gonna put a pass plate on it, make it nice and clean. Basically, just salvage the situation, and then we're gonna put all our equipment right here. Now this speaker does have Klipsch's Skyhook technology, so you don't necessarily need tools to install it. But basically you just push right on the tab and it pops them out like that. And uh, your speaker's installed. You always want to level the speaker. Okay, so we're about halfway through the day. We're making great progress on this project here. You can see we have our rears in the wall, which we just went ahead and ran new wiring. Put in our front right speaker here. And we got our RP640 up on the wall down below. And we ran our line down for our subwoofer, which is gonna sit here right to the left of the console. And we got our front left speaker in. We're making good progress. All of our wiring here, we had to, they did some funky stuff down here. So we went ahead and rerouted it all into one nice clean hole. We're gonna make it appear as if it was wired properly. Um, well, we're moving right along. All right guys, the next part of this project is that we're gonna be installing these episode 350 all weather speakers here in the ceiling. You can see I went up in the attic and marked out where we're gonna cut them in. And Grayson's getting our volume control hooked up over here on his uh, brand new iPhone. <laughs> it's better than scratching, I guess, the customer's outdoor furniture. Yeah. But anyways, uh, basically the way these work is um, it's input-output, adds a little resistance um, so that the customer can still do old school rotary on the wall. But we're hooking up a Sonos Connect amp to this. Actually, we're digging out zone two on the Onkyo receiver. So it'll have its own independent volume control through the uh, Sonos system, but this is nice to have too, just as a as a backup. I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys put in. Here's the speakers that I'm using. All weather, in ceiling. So it with, uh, will hold up to the elements. These hot summers in Texas and these cold conditions like we have now. So here's the final product. You can see I did a perfect job, I know. It looks awesome. And the grill. Just like that. One down, three to go. I'm putting in some episode all weather in ceiling speakers. Here's my cutout template. Here's my drill, ladder, speakers are inside. I'm gonna get this knocked out. I want you guys to follow along. Thanks for watching. Episode 350 speakers going in the ceiling. What? All right, speaker number three, magnetic grill. Perfect. All right, Playboy over here is uh, getting the volume control hooked up for patio number two. How's it coming along, Gray? Excellent. In your professional opinion? In my professional opinion, this is going phenomenally. I'll take his word for it. I forgot <laughs> to tell you guys what's going on here with this volume control. So you got your 16.4 speaker wire, which is being fed back to the AV home run. And then the two 16.2 wires right there going up to the speakers. This adds resistance to the line, allowing you to adjust your volume control uh, based on, you know, whatever level you want it at in the space. This is also going to be controllable through Sonos. So this is like a 
kind of redundant, but it gives you two options. All right, guys, this installation is coming along perfectly. Check it out. We got zone number one up here in the ceiling installed with our volume control. Zone number two right here in the ceiling. Very nice and clean. These people are ready to party. Uh, we're going to be putting in, you know, these uh, custom series uh, clip speakers in the ceiling here so that you can be jamming out while you're showering. Not picking up Alright guys, so we're getting the wires put in for these speakers. You can see we got this speaker in. Now we just gotta get this other speaker put in. Moving along, we're gonna shoot it down the, the attic over here into our home room. Hey Siri, didn't I just do a great job? <laughs> Whatever I can do to help. <laughs> Very nice. Master bathroom stereo speakers installed. Moving on to the equipment. All right guys, moving right along. We got the Onkyo 686 in and the Sonos Connect amp for the master bath and then the Sonos Connect to tie the Sonos system into the AV receiver and zone two. And then I'm about to get the control system set up, which we are gonna be using the Harmony Pro model. Also give the customer the ability to control the whole system through their phone as well as a nice little one button press touchscreen. And get it done. All right guys, it's been a long day but we just finished off this installation. I want to show you what we got. We got 65 inch TV here mounted with our RP640 from Clip center speaker. We got the custom series here to the front right and front uh, left and then overhead at the rear of the room. We have our rear right and over here, our rear left. And then we're using a reference series 10 inch sub at the front of the room. All of our equipment is terminating down here. And we have our Onkyo receiver. This is a seven channel receiver with zone two. And then we have the uh, Sonos Connect and a Sonos Connect amp and then his dish Joey. And we're using a universal remote system, the Logitech um, Harmony Pro. Now that uh, Sonos, connect amp that you see there is actually going to this bathroom in here and we got a couple in ceiling speakers put in for the customer so that they can independently control um, that one room and then out here on the patio I'm sorry, what was that? out here on the patio we put in a couple uh, in ceiling speakers everything went beautifully one here one here and then on this part of the patio we put in another set of in-ceiling speakers here and here all controllable through the sonos app and the harmony app you actually have multiple control and then uh, because they wanted a more old school option we even put rotary style volume controls on the wall that can get a little bit confusing um, there's multiple volume controls but i recommend sticking to the app control now if you guys would like us to do something like this, just give us a call or shoot us an email. We are Dallas based, but we do ship nationwide with free shipping, best price guaranteed. We're your home theater go-to company. We have TVs, speakers, projectors, anything you need, including the cabling and brackets. So thank you for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe down below, like and comment and share. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater.